Hey guys, I'm Cherry. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about how to improve your English language. Firstly, I recommend you guys to go to tuition center if you are in primary school or secondary school. Of course, you need to choose smartly as it will affect your entire English proficiency. It is better if the tuition teacher encourages you to speak more and not allow you to speak other languages because in Malaysia, we speak mixed language daily and so what is the point of improving English when the teacher didn't limit you to speak only English? It is also better to have university teaching method than only focus on examination teaching method I'm not encouraging you to ignore the examination teaching method because I know examination is important too. But if you are educated with university teaching method, you will adapt to the university teaching atmosphere quickly if you are going to university later. For example, university teaching method is like presentation, instance speaking test, debate, forum, drama, and so on. There are some common activities that will occur during your university studies. Therefore, if you engage with these activities earlier in secondary school, you will adapt to university environment quickly. The next important teaching method is emphasizing pronunciation. It is important when you are going to speak in public. So, there is the most accurate pronunciation in the world, which is International Phonetic Alphabet. What is International Phonetic Alphabet? It's the pronunciation on your dictionary where it lays beside the word you are searching for. It is the most accurate pronunciation whether you are in the United States or United Kingdom or Australia. This pronunciation is the standard pronunciation. There is a list where you learn how every alphabet sounds like. I'll link the international phonetic alphabet sheet in the description box below and you can access it and learn it by yourself. The second tip is when you are watching K-dramas or anime, please use English subtitles. It is important to insert English usage in your daily life and the easiest way is to watch K-dramas and anime in English subtitles. If you see a word that you are not familiar with, you can search it up and if the word is keep appearing, then you can connect the story to the word and guess what the meaning is. Then you can search it up and see if you guess it right or wrong. If it's right, then congratulations, you can keep it up the guessing method. But if it's wrong for many times, then you better search the vocabulary every time you see it and so that you can get the accurate answer immediately. The next tip is to read more English books, whether it's fiction or non-fiction. If you are a beginner, then I recommend you to read scholastic books as the books are easier to read and understand. If you are not a fiction lover, you can read some self-enriching books such as Atomic Habits, The Laws of Human Nature, The Bullet Journal Method, and so on. To improve your English to reading, you need to highlight vocabulary and search for the meaning immediately. It is better if you jot it down in a notebook and recap the words in your notebook when you encounter this word again. Try to remember the vocabulary so that when you see the words again, you can immediately understand the meaning. And the next tip is to speak English to certain people frequently. It could be your friend, your teacher or your family members and it is better to embrace yourself in front of closest acquaintance than to strangers or even your clients in the future. 
finally, the last tip is you need to always have encouragement to speak or write in English. It's okay to have wrong answers. It's okay to speak wrongly. It's okay to have grammar mistakes. It is because you have tried to improve yourself, and the process of getting success is to fail many times. Before I end this video, there are some English learning books I want to recommend for you. It's Oxford Learner's Pocket Series. The first one is Word Skills, which is known as vocabulary in different categories and different fields of studies. For example, it covers vocabulary from home to school to human body to work and so on. The second one is phrasal verbs and idioms. It also covers all the phrasal verbs in different categories in daily life. The third one is verbs and tenses, where it focuses and covers all the verbs usage and all the tenses. These three books are so good, and they really help me in improving my English language. You can find it in popular bookstores, or if your area doesn't have popular bookstores, you can buy it online. I'll link it in description box below. That's all for today's video. I hope you find it helpful. Thank you. See you in the next video.